Hey guys, welcome back to The Last Door, Season 2. In the last episode, we hypnotized Professor Wright, and he came up with some information, but we really couldn't make any sense of it. And now we are here in the town and trying to find out more about what is actually going on. So, without further ado, let's just explore town here. The Fisherman's Inn, the Fisherman's Lodge. Okay, but I'm not going to go in. Let's explore what is outside here first. Can't go in here. There's someone here. Uh, the window is closed shut. The window is closed shut. Okay, so we couldn't talk to her. Snow uh, all but covers the window. Evidently no one has been here to clear it in a very long time. It is too frosted over to see inside. No, I don't want to leave yet. This is the door of the church of Wickport. We could go inside the church, but we are for the time being not going to. We are going to go to the Fisherman's Lodge first. If we can enter, that is. We can. Okay, so let's go inside. Hmm, an old post of a local traditional sport. This lady is dressed rather elegantly for someone who came to drink in a place like this. Hmm. Okay, so we can't talk to her though. All pictures of the village's inhabitants. The wheel taken from the helm of a ship. Perhaps a trinket from the owner's days as a ship's hel helmsman. Bottles of rum, dark beer and a couple of tabs of pale ale. Those two fishermen have just given me a suspicious look. Oh, it's not good. So we can talk to this person. And we are going to. Good morning. Let me drink in peace. Are you a ship captain? Why, what's it to you? Does I look like a captain? Uh, because of the hat you are wearing. Ha! A hat don't make a captain townie. You can buy a hat like this in any flea market in England. Because of your coarse skin, weathered by years of salt and wind. You met many folk in Wickpool yet. It's coming off around these parts. Because of your hands, Collapsed by years of knotting rope and reeling in line. Any fisherman has hands like these. Because of the of the three earrings you are wearing, you have doubled the three capes, is that right? Indeed I have. Good hope, blue and, and horn. Therefore, I hold the right to stand before kings and to piss against the wind. If I die in the sea, these three rings will pay, me, pay my way. But no, that will never happen now. Do you mean you will not set sail again? I love the sea more than anything. It is my passion, my freedom and my life. But there are many things about him that we do not know. They are far from the coast and the deep dark, things we are still unprepared to behold. Believe me, those things are way deep down. Have you seen any of those things? No, but... You may have heard one or two of the stories that fishermen tell about things seen out there. It is no but tales for young uns, mere superstition from men to cowardly to face the dark. Any god seaman knows that in the strong wind a stretched rope can shake and sing. I myself have mistaken such caning for the word of a child, but there was one time. One time it was nothing of the sort than the sea howled. It was no thunder, not a strong wave clashing with my ship. No, it was like a voice. It spoke to me in a language I cannot describe. A sound muttered by living something, a call unlike anything I had heard before. And I understood. What 
Did you understand? I understood there was no more freedom for me. That the sea now had other lords. And whoever they were, I did know they would not share it. What happened then? As I navigated back to shore, I lost control of my ship in a great storm. The rocks of the cliffs did the rest. I do not know where the remains of my dear Augustine ended up with the passing of years and tides. I looked for them once for many moons, but all I found was this bar at the bottom of an empty glass. I have never returned to the shore since. May she forgive me. Now, leave me be. I will leave you alone to your thoughts. You have the gratitude of me and my whiskey. All that blathering worked up a right sore thirst. Ooh, okay. Sure. All right, so let's talk to the bartender. Good morning. You want a drink? What is with that man on the corner? Fred, you can ignore him. He's a sad, lonely drunk. Do you know a man called Oscar? You mean Father Oscar? You can find him in the church. When he's not in here, it's right outside. Have you ever met Professor Wright? The professor? Sure. Saw him every other day as a young'un. Always involved in the village. He was la -di -da all right, but folk respected him. He got stuck on him. Stuck in. Didn't last there. Shot himself away. Started getting visitors from out of town. He stopped coming to the village eventually. Last I heard, he'd gone crazy. None of us knows for sure, though. Been years since I saw him. Hmm. I will leave you to your work. Godspeed. All right, so we can't do anything else. What happens if we want to talk to him again? Okay, nothing. We have had all the dialogue already. The strange guy and really didn't like what he had to tell us there. Okay, so she won't talk to us. So I guess it's time to have a look at the church. It's this close though. So we will have to go around, most likely at least I think. Uh huh. What is this? This seems like an anchor. Some abandoned wooden planks. Perhaps they are here for the repair of local fishing boats. Can we take them? Can't look more to the left? What is this? This seems like a boat. An old rotting boat rests on the shore. The name Providence is written on the side. An old rotting boat. Okay. So, is this a dead end? It doesn't seem to be the case. There is something here. This old ship completely wrecked. Okay, an old rusty bronze bell, typical of a uh, typical of a seafaring seafaring vessel, is engraved with the name Augustine. Oh, we can give that to someone. May be able to tell me more about it. Hmm, for sure. Okay, so that's the you can s far in the distance. I can see a lonely tree bent by the sea wind. Huh. Okay. So this boat won't do us any th any good right now, it seems. Okay, that won't work, of course. And we can't use these planks. So I guess we will have to return to town. We can't enter the church. No, we can't. It is closed. Wanna talk to that lady? But she doesn't like us, it seems. Okay, so let's return here and give that bell to that fisherman. Why, that bell's from Augustine! By Augustine! Where on earth did you find it? 
I found it on the beach near the shipwreck. I thought I would never see it again. I will clean it and might make it shine anew. Wakepole Beach? Our beach? Why? I must go. I must go straight away. I want to be reunited with my poor Augustine. What will remain of her? No, no. I dare not go. Oh, but I must. Good day to you, sir. Okay. Okay. Maybe she has new information for us? Uh, I wonder if you know when will the church open? I knocked on the door, but there was no answer. Church? Let me give you some advice. Barmaids ain't the people to ask about church opening hours. This here bar is my church. Most of the village, uh, village have come to see things my way too. We praise here these days. The whole village has forsaken the church? But why? The town is forsaken. No work on the coast these days, see? Few can make a living. Most of the fishers and sailors have up and left. Half the cottage lies abandoned. Those who stayed, they barely leave their homes. Except for some who come here, of course. But surely there must be more than just this. Many coastal towns face the same struggle, but none lie abandoned. Well, there's rumors. Silly stories, if you ask me. But some take them real, serious. Fishers, uh, big dependable guys. They tell you they've seen stuff out there on the water. Apparitions, shapes among the rocks. I say it's the booze talking, and I should know. Who could see anything in all the mist anyway? But fishes, they're superstitious. Folk believed the tales, and one by the and one by one, they just didn't come home no more. Hmm. Tell me about Captain Morwell. What can you tell me about Captain Morwell? Does he come here often? Fred, he's regular, sad, lonely, drunk. Hmm. I must leave. Godspeed. Okay, so. Okay, so there's some music. Maybe we will have something triggered. Okay, she won't talk to us no matter what, huh? Can we enter the church now? It is still closed. Can we take the planks beforehand? No, we can't. Mm-hmm. So maybe the fisherman is... There he is. So now we can talk to him again. Neither the cracks in your hull, no your flanking pain. None of it matters. You are beautiful as ever, Augustine. Today we will watch the sunset together. Good sir. I can't put it in words, but a great service you have rendered this drunken knave. Just as you, as a stranger, have brought me to my lost treasure. May this old sailor spyglass, in whatever way it can, Help light the way to yours. Take it. It is a gift from the heart. Uh, thank you, old man. Today we watch the sunset together. Alright, so maybe... Huh, a telescope. Hmm, what good does a telescope do us? Can't really imagine what this is for. I mean, it's really done what I'm trying right now, but I really can't figure out what to do with it. Hmm. Can we have a look at this woman? No, we can't. What is this telescope good for? Huh. Okay. Can we have a look at this lady? No, we can't. Huh, are we supposed to go back then? Really can't imagine what we are actually supposed to do. So I guess we will just have to leave?
Is that really what we are supposed to do? Hmm, I can't imagine that we are supposed to... Oh, for some reason, now it worked. I really don't understand why, but... Hmm. Excuse me. Are you spying on me? I'm sorry, I didn't mean to. You're not from these parts, are you? No, I'm just passing through. Are you alright? Yes. Could you... Could you do me a favor? For a long time, I have wanted to visit the tomb of my lover, but I cannot leave the house due to my illness. Could you... Could you please leave these flowers there? No one in this village will do this service for me. Alright. Alright, where is that place? Oh, you could no, not know how grateful I am. You're a good, kind person. You can go to the graveyard through the path, right, uh, through that path, right there. The name you need to look for is Carter. Okay, now we have something new on our map. Okay, I will accept this, but it's a little cryptic to be honest. Why were you spying on me? Oh, do not put it like that. It sounds so terrible. Just watch folks passing by. I cannot leave the house. So I spent my days at the window. It is awful interesting. You learn a lot about people this way, you know? Really? What can you tell me about myself? I have only observed you for a while, but I can tell you are on an important mission looking for someone dear. There's a worry over your shoulders and a long way ahead of you. Well, that was remarkable. I am frankly astonished. Let me see, what can you tell me about the barmaid? It was a woman with a strong character. Once I saw her kick out a group of drunk sailors from the pub without a doubt. She's in a bad mood lately because business is not what it used to be. She will not leave the village though, as did the others. Hmm. Let me see, what can you tell me about Captain Morwell? Poor Fred is always drunk. In the old times when he was not sailing, he had long walks on the beach and looked happy. But now, rare is the occasion when he gives a quick glance at the coast. He has lost all hope. Hmm. What can you tell me about Father Oscar? He is a man who has lost his purpose. I see him walking aimlessly in the morning and evening, nervous and doubtful. Hmm. I should go. I should go. Thanks for everything and have a good day. Oh, these are the flowers. Okay, so now we have a telescope and a flower. Just to be sure that I haven't missed something here. Doesn't seem to be the case, though. No, it doesn't seem to be the... Okay, before we waste any more time... We now have a new point of interest. Can we talk to you whenever we want to now? Yes, we can. Okay, that was weird. That was really weird. But we kind of figured it out. And that's all we need. Alright, so here we are at the graveyard. Rose Carter. Hmm. Okay, here we go. The bells of the church, it seems the priest is calling mass. Alright, so finally we are back. Bury my body with a salted driftwood, with the green seaweeds and the worn out robes where I can feel the cold autumn breeze. Gerald Bailey. Farewell to those of you that walk beside my grave. Here I lie, my name written on stone under the sun. Mary Jane Bennett. Do not bring flowers to this place, for rum is all I crave. Now I rest under the same stars I said by when alive. Daniel Ableton. Oh, this one is empty. There is no name, date or epitaph on this gravestone. Okay. That is creepy though. Okay, so we can leave here and we are... So we should keep in mind that there is an empty epitaph here. Oh, and there is also something here. A windswept wind old gnarly tree is clinging onto the cliff with that roots remain. Someday it will fall into the ocean below. 
Oh, and there is someone. Sharp rocks peek out from beneath the waves. These must be treacherous waters to sail. Okay. Let's talk to Mr. Uh, I almost want to say Mr. Holmes. Good morning, I am Dr. Wakefield. You come from the town, don't you? You needn't answer. I know by your accent. Be careful around these cliffs. This is no place for tourists. It's hardly a place for anyone now. The man snorts. You best on. You best be on your way back. Strange things have been happening here. What do you mean? Seamen and fishermen like alike swear to have heard voices in the rising tide. Inhuman screams, some of them say. And there are some who claim they have witnessed ungodly things in the dead of night. I once saw ghastly thing crawling out there amongst the rocks. People have heard screams coming from the sea? Bloody drunks. They say... Uh, the sea howls at them, as if that was something new. What did you see in the rocks? That thing, the one you saw in the rocks, can you tell me more about it? Late night it was, me on my boat, fishing, that's why I gets the best catch. Then I saw it, not under the water, as the others say. It was on a rock, perched here, perched there, like it was smelling for something. The shape of it like nothing I ever saw before, not walking on the earth, nor swimming in the sea. The thing was big and hunched over, like a crouching man. The way it moved, it made my flesh crawl. Whatever it was, the mist itself was its ally, hiding it from my bare eyes, and in the end, disappearing away together. I swear, I should see that horror again. I will take my most vicious harpoon, and thrust it so deep in its wretched body that they will have to bury them together. So, what are you doing up here? I come here when I can to watch the shore, just in case that thing comes back. The mist down there is just too thick. I can see better from here, even if my eyes are not what they used to be. Damn it, if I could somehow regain my once sharp eyesight again, by God, I would impale that abomination for sure. Uh, what about this telescope, my friend? Here, would this help you watch the shore? Why it is all but, sh but uh, to be sure, but this telescope has been patched up to a rare beauty. You have my thanks, stranger. I am indebted. Hmm. Oh, what is that? On the cliff there. Well below me. But if it isn't the Wright's old summer house, I thought it entirely destroyed. It looks like you can get there using the old cliff path. Excuse me, did you say the Wright's summer house? Ah. Uh. Well, yes, I never saw it myself. I was too young at the time, but everyone around here knows the story well. It was a terrible tragedy, you see. One night, there was a landslide just beneath the house. Most of the building fell sheer into the sea, leaving only yonder ruins. Many died, though by a miracle young Master Ride was spared. You can see it from here. Look, right there on the other side of the beach. Do you see it? Now we do aha uh -huh. okay so we do have somewhere else to visit now but before we do that i think we want to go to the sh to the church don't we i think we do do we want to go to the church or do we want to go to the cliff hmm that's actually a good question we can also have a nice look here once again Alright, so let's head back here. And I think we want to go to the church first. That might be more befitting. So let's tell her that we did what she wanted from us. I have left the flowers on your lover's grave, as you asked. Thank you so much. I'm in your debt. Okay, so I should go. I should go. Thanks for everything and have a good day. Uh, Alright, so we have done that. Uh, now we can enter the church. Uh, I don't know why I did that. But guys, I'm really sorry. We are nearing the end of the episode marked very quickly. If you want to know what this church has in stock for us, you'll have to tune in next time for... The Last Door. Season 2. See you then.